A division between the Youngsville City Council and the elected police chief has many asking what's going to happen next. News 10's Renee Allen talks with the chief and asks if the two sides can work together moving forward. The chief is shocked by the reaction of the city council and some city officials. He believed he had a close working relationship with some of them, but now that belief has turned into doubt. We say that there's two Rickies and uh, there's the one that give you the shirt off his back, the last dollar in his pocket and the shoes off his feet. There's that one when you back him in a corner and you force him to fight. Uh, I'm old school. I'm a fight and I, I don't fight. To be fair, I fight to win. Chief Boudreaux so, uses the words of shock and disappointment real. when it comes to people he worked closely with and more importantly, he thought he could talk to. A little shocked and disappointed because I thought I had a better relationship with my council where they would have sat down with me and discussed this without uh, just going full force. The chief contends that much of what's been discussed has been done behind closed doors. He suspects the planned council supported investigation will dig into the entire eight years he's led the Youngsville police force. To him, that's a bit of an overreach. Eight years, that's a lot of decisions. Uh, but if I can get refreshed on why I made those decisions, I have a perfectly logical explanation for every decision I've made and don't have a problem Explain it to somebody if they will come and talk to me. The chief explains that former council member Rayo's car accident where he says he has been falsely accused of showing favoritism was back in November. He's asking why is it now coming back up? He knew, but there was three months ago, so everybody was done with it. It was no more than a simple accident. He says city officials have asked to him for help. He recalls going to some of their homes during major storms to check on their families. The list, he says, goes on and on. You asked for, for favors or help. Uh, it's kind of hard to throw a rock at me and say, oh, you're helping people when, yeah, I'm helping each one of you on more than one occasion. Bujo says it's been eight years he served as Youngsville's police chief. He now figures another term may not sound so bad. First, I was figuring that after this term I was going to retire, but since they kind of rekindled that fire in me, I think I'm going to stay for a while. They might have to just roll me on out in a wheelchair before I leave. The next Youngsville City Council meeting is scheduled for June 8th. Renee Allen, KLFY News 10.